So you need to decide what colors you think you want to use for walls or artwork or floor. You will be drawing the other half, but half of this is going to come from the paper that you print out today. So <laughs> to begin with, you're going to have a white piece of paper that you need to write your name on. And then you're going to turn that piece of paper over so that your name is now on the back side of the paper. Then what we're going to be doing is called dry stretching. So you're going to take a roll of masking tape and you're going to tear a piece of masking tape out so it is slightly longer than the edge of your paper. Then stick the tape one end on the board and then tear the other piece off and stick this on the board so that there's a loop in the piece of tape. And then you're going to uh, either pass the roll to another student and they can tear a piece of tape, stick it on your board. Um, so you need four pieces of tape. But I don't want you to take the tape and precisely take some time to line it up and tape it down because other people are waiting to use the tape. So just tear it off real quick, put it on your board, pass that roll of tape. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take um, the individual piece of tape, you're going to pull it tight and lay it down so just a small portion of the tape is holding down the paper. This is called dry stretching. The reason we dry stretch is because when you paint on paper, the paper is going to wrinkle, but when you dry stretch, it will dry flat overnight. So you need all four sides of that paper taped down in order for it to dry flat overnight. Okay, then you need to use the Sharpie marker to write your name on the masking tape so that I know whose project board this is. So name on the back of the paper and name on the masking tape. Okay, the method that we use um, is bleeding tissue paper. So you're going to have a container with tissue paper in it. It's special tissue paper that's meant to be printed with. So when we put water on this, the ink comes out of the tissue paper and will print on the white paper that you're attaching it to. So you want to think about colors you want to use in your room. So maybe I want some areas that are maybe sky colors. So I've got some colors that are blue, but maybe I want a portion of my wall to have some pinks and some reds and some oranges. Um, so when you've got your paper chosen, what you're going to do is stack the colors all in one pile. And then what you're going to do is Okay, once you've got all these papers in a neat uh, pile, then you're just gonna tear them into smaller pieces. And I had a student one year compare it to chicken nugget size, and it made me laugh, but I'm like, yep, that's a good comparison. So you're just tearing it down into smaller pieces. Do not worry if these are not perfectly um, the same size. It's not gonna matter. Okay, then what you're gonna do is share a cup of water between you and the person next to you. Fill the cup half full of water so you're not spilling. Um, and what you're gonna do is take a paintbrush and you're gonna paint a small area with water. This puddle should be wet and fresh so that when you stick your tissue paper on it, it's gonna act like glue and the tissue paper is gonna stick to the surface. So you could make a design if you want, you could make it fade from one color to the next if you want, or you could just kind of layer up those colors. So once I have attached it, then I'm going to take my brush of water and I'm going to paint on the surface. And what's happening is the ink is coming out of that tissue paper and it's leaving a print behind. So the key is you want your tissue paper to be flat on the paper. You don't want to leave it crumpled up um, because then you're not getting as much ink out of it. So maybe I'm imagining that um, one half of my paper might become like the sky area that you might see through a window. So I might do half of this with my blues and greens, but the other half I might use for a wall. So now I'm going to paint a new spot with water. And that's okay if the water is slightly colored, not a big deal. And then I'm going to try some pinks and oranges over here. 
same thing. I just touch it to get it to stick and then I paint water over the surface. So this needs to dry overnight um, and then the next class period when you come back to class and I would fill the entire white paper with um, all the colors you think you want. But then the next day when you come back we'll peel off the tissue paper and you'll be left with something that looks similar to this, which we will then be cutting up and collaging in your room design. So at the end of the period, if you don't finish filling up your board, I'll give you a Ziploc bag to put your tissue paper in that you've torn so that you can save that and use that again in another class. If you finish your board, then put all the extra tissue paper that you did not use back in the Tupperware.